Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about uh, one way to do division. It's called partial quotient. And basically, the advantage of this method is that um, you multiply numbers that are um, like 10 or 5, that it's very easy to know the multiplication. So let me work an example, and you'll see what I mean. So if you don't know your times table really well, this may be a method for you. First thing we do is we line, draw a line. Next, I think of what number times 8 equals 112. Well, I know 8 times 10 is 80. So I'll write 80 here, draw a line, and bring the 2 down and subtract. And 8 goes into 1. It needs to borrow 1 from this number. So it's 11 minus 8, which is 3. So now I have 32. Now, 8 times what equals 32? Well, I know 8, 16, 24. 32, so 8 times 4 is 32, so 32 minus 32 is 0, and so I know that it is time to stop, because 0 is less than 8. I now just add these two numbers together, 10 plus 4 is 14, and so 112 divided by 8 is 14. Okay, let's work another example. This one, a little more challenging, 12 into 984. So I'm just going to draw a line, and I'm going to start. What times 12 is 984, or close? Well, I don't know my times table very well, so I'll just multiply it by 10. So 10 times 12 is 120, okay? And then 984 minus 120, bring the 4 down. 8 minus 2 is 6. And 9 minus 1 is 8. So I'm going, going to repeat again. 12 times 10 is 120. I'll subtract again, bring down the 4. Another 4, 6 minus 2 is 4. And this is 744. But this time I'm going to multiply it by 20 because I know 120 doubled is 240. So now I have 240. Again, I subtract, we have 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, and that becomes 504. I'm going to repeat this again. Now, you can see one disadvantage in that you're doing quite a bit of subtraction, but you'll see at the end you'll get an answer that will work. Uh, bring down the 4, uh, I need to borrow 1 from that 5, a 10 from the 5, so that becomes 6, and that is 264. Let's complete this one more time. 20 times 12 is 240. Bring down the 4, and that becomes 24. And now 12 goes into 24 two times. 24 minus 24 is 0, so that means it is time to stop. Can we see? Or I'm off the table. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so now I am at 0, and I just add this up. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 20 is 40 plus 20 is 60, plus 20 is 80, so an 80 plus 2 is 82. So 984 divided by 12 is 82. Okay, and so now, okay, so now let's go with 1680 divided by 21. I'm going to draw a line, and let's see what 21 goes into 1680. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go with, if I go with uh, 20, and I know 20 times 21 is 21 doubled is 42, so that would be 420. So now I just subtract, that's 0, that's 6, and that's 2. So now I have 1260, and I'm going to repeat. So we have 20 times 21, and once again, that is 420. So that's 0, 4, I need to borrow 1, that's 8. So now we have 840, and now I'll just repeat that again. And so 20 times 21 is 420, and so now we have 0, 2, and that is 420. And so lo and behold, I will repeat. 21 times 20, and that is 420. I have 0, so I now 
know that I'm finished and I just add this up 20 40 60 80 and so 20 goes into 1680 80 times okay so again partial quotient it works if you want to have multiplication that is very easy you have a, a little bit of subtraction but it does work thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day please subscribe and share